everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in somewhere that we've wanted to come to for quite a while now. Um, as you can see, I am dressed in my work wear. <laughs> I'm actually on my lunch break, so this is good fun for lunch. But what a place to come for lunch. We have come to the Chateau de Balleroy. No, Balleroy. Balleroy. Sorry, my bad French. Um, okay, if I spin round, you can see it's there. So we're going to go and check out the gardens and have a look around, get some lunch and obviously bring you guys to have a look around while we're here. And I've got some fun facts. Of course we've got Jess's fun facts. Um, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, let's go and explore. The village of Balawa was actually founded by King Henry IV, who sent his wine merchant here to provide all of the wine for his council. And it was only about 40 years later that the chateau was built. It was built in 1631 and it remains quite unchanged since. So it's a pretty impressive building as you can see. the gardens here because it's such a beautiful day and although you can have access into the chateau it is still residential and it is quite closed off from what I've read online there's only about six rooms you can actually go in and a lot of them have been refurbished to quite modern standards I suppose so we're gonna have a walk around the gardens we're gonna have a look at the architecture from the outside because it is beautiful and probably have a bit of lunch as well I have taken some photographs and things as well. So check out our Instagram account, put it on the bottom. And uh, yeah, thanks. Instagram. There we go, nice picture of a tree. 
So the chateau was built, as I said, in the early 1600s, and it was actually owned by the same Balawar family until 1970. So it was like, oh, oh sorry, there was all like descendants from from the family lived there for all the centuries. In 1970, it was bought by Malcolm Forbes, who was the director of Forbes magazine in America. And he had a fascination with hot air balloons. So here as well is also a museum dedicated to hot air balloons, which we're not gonna see because again, it's inside and it's such a nice day. We don't wanna be indoors, but there's been a hot air balloon festival here from when Malcolm Forbes bought the place in the 70s all the way up until 1999 but they stopped the festival for 17 18 years and due to the demand from the locals it started up again in 2007 but it's held locally in a stadium and we were just saying we're quite surprised there's a hot air balloon festival here because there's quite a lot of trees which I've taken pictures of yeah but what Matt doesn't know is that the chateau is in 200 hectares of land. So I'm sure in that land somewhere, there's a nice clearing for, that hot, for what was the hot air balloon festival. We're just heading back now towards the house and then we're going to have a look around the outside of the house and take some video there. But I just wanted to leave a little teaser for you guys. So next week's video, we are heading to Cherbourg. Um, we're going to go and have a look around Cherbourg and the marina and things as a possible first stop for when we move our boat on our Mediterranean trip. Um, if you don't know about this trip that's coming up, I'll leave a link in our um, top corner for a video that we sort of spoke about it and what we're going to be doing. Uh, we need to go and get a few bits for the boat hopefully this weekend, so we're doing that as well. So I just thought I'd uh, let you know what was happening and keep you updated on our travels for next year. So yeah, to the house. It's been a long, hard season I'm feeling weary to my bones I guess that's my reason I've packed my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere Between the sun and the deep blue sea now to a very rare building found in France. It's called a Colombier, which is the pigeon house. Oh. 
This is the pigeon house. There are space for 1,700 pigeons in here. And obviously some of them nest in twos. And a parrot. And a parrot. There's a stuffed parrot. Oh yeah, there's a parrot right above me, Ed. <laughs> and the reason that these buildings are so rare in France is because during the French Revolution, these pigeon houses were seen as being old regime and part of the monarchy rather than the new, the new way. So they were all ordered to be destroyed. The only ones that weren't were the ones that belonged to aristocracy or to the clergy. And this particular one had a central, you can still see the central thing, it had a central ladder that went up. It spun around and went up so you could get closer to the pigeons that were nesting. So this pigeon house was very popular at the time because pigeons were sent was were used as message, messengers. Obviously sent messenger by a carrier pigeon. They were also used for food and also their droppings were used as fertilizer on the gardens. The drop in pigeon droppings at the time were quite a rich commodity and sometimes they were even seen in dowries for marriages when rich people got married. So this one being so huge showed that the landowner had a lot of wealth. And I'll do a bit of research as to why it survived, how it managed to survive the French Revolution. And I'll put it in our blog, which you'll see in the description box below. Okay, hopefully you can hear us okay. The wind has picked up a little bit. We have finished looking around the chateau. Definitely worth a visit if you're coming here. Uh, and it's one of the top 300 prettiest gardens in France. Yeah, and it is a gorgeous garden. There's lots of walks, lots and lots. Um, we paid six euros just for the gardens, um, but it was well worth it. There's lots of places for picnicking and you can have a real big explore and lots of different walks. Definitely add to your list. Uh, what three words will be in the description, I'm sure. Show you guys where we are. As I said earlier, Cherbourg is our next stop. Yes. So we will be there next Friday. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate all the support we're getting from the channel right now. So as always, keep subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up for the video. And of course, ring the bell to notify you when our video comes out, which will be next Friday. So until then, have a great week and we'll see you then. See ya. Bye. Bye.